Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about the new Dominique palette. I had been wanting this palette for a while, but I didn't want to buy it on her website because it's like 42 with shipping and taxes. It'll be like 50 something, probably almost 60. So I didn't want to, I just, I was looking for the opportunity to see if Ulta would get it and we finally got it. So this is what the front looks like. It's white and it's rose gold um detail and oh, it has a big mirror and the pants are really big they have her initials on each one i do see me using this because it has a lot of variety it has shimmers in it, has it. three shimmers and seven mattes so i'm gonna go ahead and start swatching the first color is called hazelnut And then the next color is called Caramel. And the next color is called Vanilla Cream. And the next color is called Mocha. The last color on that row is called Pumpkin Spice. The next color is called Espresso. And the next color is called Mochiato. I find that these two colors are similar, except Mochiato is a little lighter than this one. This one's called Cranberry. And again, they're kind of similar. And the next color is called Cold Brew. It is a little chalky, as you can see. But I mean, if you pack it on, it'll, it'll blend nicely. And the last color on that row is called Double Shot. So... I really like this palette the cover the whole palette is made out of like cardboard um, I do wish that she would have probably like made it a little nicer because I mean a lot of these people this one was in the prestige area of Ulta and to be honest like if it's plasticky like cardboardy like this I don't think it's that good of a quality I feel like maybe they should have made it like, you know, like this, for example, how it's like, it's a better um, packaging or like this one, how it was like actually metal. I feel like if you're going to have a really expensive palette, then I feel like I would have put more work into the packaging and um, because, you know, a lot of people are going to buy it and it's like 50 something dollars. I, I just feel like. For that amount you need to make them better because we're over here you know buying it you're commissioning a lot of money out of that collabing with other people and doing all these things i get it you know you need to make your own money too but you also gotta think about the fans if i was making a palette i would make it really good quality that way it's worth the money i mean those are just my thoughts but you know um she also came out with a new palette it's called the lemonade palette i saw some of the swatches i'll put the picture after this I'm not too impressed with the colors either. I think this one's a lot nicer than that lemonade palette. But when I, I'm gonna see if Ulta gets it in in the stores and I'll like swatch it, I'll make a decision after that. I, I kinda have to see it in person because just the picture, I kinda don't like it. But uh, maybe in person it'll be nicer, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching.